So I'm going to use a transfer punch to replicate that hole through these other pieces. It doesn't have to be particularly accurate as long as it's close. Okay, I'm going to draw these out. One. That's good. put some all thread through it and tighten them down. Now I'm going to try and round everything off so they don't look so shitty. Hey, you know what I've got to do? I've had another idea. These need cleaning because I'm going to TIG weld these as well. So I'm going to put them in the tumbler. That'll clean them up, make them nice and smooth everywhere. That'd be awesome. Let's do that. This is some tumbler media. Basically some sort of ceramic. Throw them in the tumbler. Tumbler tumbles. And cleans off all the edges for you. Lovely. Throw them in there. It'll take quite a while, not in any rush, so it don't matter. Normally I'd do this overnight, but we'll see. So they've been running for, I don't know, maybe four. Let's take a look, see if they're ready. Oh, I've got to find them now. Um, hey, let me show you what this thing does, in case you've never seen one before. So obviously when the lid's running, it gets loud. Found one. There you go, straight out of the machine. You can see it's considerably cleaner. Oh, yeah, it looks better. I mean, it's not... It's not clean, but it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot smoother too. There's, uh, well, there is actually, but it's there is actually a burr on there, so it hasn't taken that burr off around the edge. But it's soft. It's not at all sharp. I'll take that off anyway. Oh, there's no, there's no one. No one there. That's it. It'll clean it up. It's real dusty stuff. It hasn't taken off this sharp. Well, it isn't sharp anymore. But there is a burr, but it's soft. It doesn't doesn't um, cut you or anything. Oh, bloody hell, I'm getting lucky. Yeah, look at that. One more. There he is. Brilliant. Yeah, it's quite nice. So I'm cutting to length approximately uh, uh, three quarters of an inch of this all thread. So here's one I cut previously. So I need to make four of those. Just trying to put some edge on there, a bobble to hold it in place. Happy with that. Oh yeah, loving that. <laughs> so this is a piece of uh, sheet metal from the microwave oven. So I've just cut this on the plasma cutter and it's awesome. It's left a very small amount of slag, I guess you call it. So I'm going to have to remove that, but it's so small. I've marked it out. There's my mark out lines. So I'm going to fold this on those lines. Okay, let's go and fold it. Quite like the microwave grey. Next! Uh, 
Ah, shit. <laughs> I cut that too small. Ah, douchebag. Okay, well, let's make it on the inside. Inside cut. That ain't gonna work. Bollocks. Or we can cut this so uh, that. That goes inside, and that stays outside. Yeah, let's do that. It's screwed up anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. Okay, there we go. I'm going to unfold these at that point. And then I can drill in here to put the metal bar. Okay, final stage. I should probably bend that back. I don't know. I'll leave it like that for now. It's okay. <laughs> That's not so good, is it? <laughs> That blows. As long as it holds, who cares, right? Lovely mess. I need to find the center of this uh, rod and then we're going to stick a hole right through the middle. This is an edge finder. It's the only edge finder I've got and it's metric. It's a 10 mil edge finder so I'm going to have to do a bit of conversions on this. Set this to zero. Oh you bugger, I forgot to undo it. There we go. So 196, so 100, eighty, ninety, sorry, 95, 96. So that is the middle of the edge finder. So now I need to uh, take off another 124. So 124. Oh, that's kind of handy. There's the four on the from the last turn. So let's go round once to give me a hundred. 
Let me add 20. 10, 20. That's in the middle. Let's replace the edge finder, put in a center drill. So let's position it. So the position on this isn't critical, as long as it's roughly in the middle. I don't really care. I don't know how long it is actually. Let's see. So it's approximately 150. So if I do 75 ish. See if it fits. There's our little hole. Smack bang in, bang in the middle. So that goes through there. All right. Give me. I need at least eight. Eight plus a bit more. That'll work. So I'm going to cut four of these to approximately two inches. I'm going to use this stop so that hopefully I'll get some repeatability. I've broken my Allen key there. that so that I've got to stop this from falling in because it's supposed to be out have to think about that so the idea is this is going to snap on my fingers I know it is I want it to stop about there somehow and then as I push down yeah something like that Alright, so to overcome the problem of I can get it out. See this thing is being pulled. If it gets too high, the the uh, springs will pull it right the way back. So I need to limit how far it can go. So what I've decided to do is I've got a tube uh, about the right length to what it will do it will limit it so that it only comes to about oh, that distance just before it flips over and then uh, that will stop it from going too far 
So I've decided I'd need to make the cable attachment to the bot welder adjustable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hole right down the middle of this bolt. Um, now to do that I've got nothing to put this in the lathe with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this through here so I can screw this in and then I can tighten that onto the lathe without breaking the thread of course. That is the purpose of this exercise. in this screwed into there so now I'm going to put this small I can't remember the size let's see it's where the cable is going to go through I've decided to do is <clears throat> I built this little bracket here it's going to sit down here somewhere and then the cable is going to I've got to somehow attach it to this I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet um, but it's going to pull down and there's going to be adjusting screw this screw here with a hole through the middle which will go in there and then the cable will come out the end and we're going to pinch that and I've got something to pinch that with, but I can't remember what I've done with it. Here it is. I've got a little screw with a hole through the middle. So that'll pinch onto the cable there, like so, with a nut. And then um, it'll be in this position somewhere. So I've got to put it around there, or maybe a bit lower than that, somewhere like that. So that's the plan. See how that works out. Oh, I finished that. What I ended up doing is I put a. This was 3D printed, remember? So I've actually drilled a hole down the back side of there and I've put the cable through that hole and I've got some washers on the top to make sure I don't pull all the way through. Although it's pretty hard plastic, so I don't think that'd be an issue. It comes down here into this adjustable screw. There's a locking nut here and there's the end of the cable. So as a push my foot down it'll pull the cable tents and this little arm will lock into place nothing's lining up right now because I've been messing around but there we go it doesn't return as well as I hoped and the reason is I've changed this bar this was a screw thread like this and there was a, a hole through the middle which you can just about see it wasn't strong enough but what it did as a as a benefit it allowed these pieces to stay in position so right now what happens is occasionally it loses the position and you know things start going out out of sync let me try it on the floor that's good. Oh yeah, works well, great. That's my foot. I could um, I could put a spot weld on there maybe. That will stop them moving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this nozzle gel. I'm going to put it around the parts that I don't want anything going near. Yuck so that I don't accidentally mess it up. Okay, that looks all right. So I wasn't very happy with my decision to poke, put a hole through this piece and then 
thread the wire down. So what I've done is I've 3D printed this part here. There we go. So I haven't tried it yet, but <clears throat> I've put a little hole in the top there. That's where the cable's going to rest. And then I'm going to epoxy this onto the other 3D printed part. Which hopefully will be a bit stronger than what I was going to attempt over there. So this, I don't even know if it fits yet. Let's find out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Let's see if I... Uh, I don't think the... I don't think I made the hole big enough. Oh yeah, I did. There you go. Alright, let's try again. I think it's getting stuck on the other end. So. There you go. Yeah, that'll work great. Alright, let me get the epoxy out and we'll glue that up. Foot going on the foot pedal. Look at that! See? No hands. That's what you're talking about. Hit the go button. Woo! And there we pop. Literally. Sweet. That's what he needed, man. The foot pedal. Alright, I'll do it again with the foot pedal in view. Oops, I'm do that. Awesome. That is awesome, man. Look at that! So cool. Let's get another piece. Alright, so I'm gonna a couple of bits of scrap steel here, sheet steel. Let's give it a go with the foot pedal. Foot pedal. I like that. Look at that. No hands. Brilliant. Ain't gonna come out of there in a hurry, is it? I like it. I'm really pleased with that. There you go, my project's complete. I can move on to something new. Uh, I've already got a project in mind, so quite happy. Outcome's brilliant. It works just as it's supposed to. And uh, it didn't cost me very much because I stole my wife's microwave oven. So that was good too.